Kukor naga shlem jo unong san hima. Ka wai ka kanhun trai mons ngau bha ka blatip kerteng kum ka compassionate ministry international ka dei ka kanhun ka ba pej ka khia ka shon na ka banta kitu ki bakarni ha ki jingdi bu ait ba pher ba pher ki ba kan thop ru ya u drugs ha bai kran ba u founder ba u badai ru u president jong ka compassionate ministry international u pastor manoj kumar narji nari ulaya thu ba ka ni ka kanhun class dang ban ai jing irap ye ki bom don ying don sem Badro ya kibrio ki bakarni ha ka jingdi bu ai bad ha ki ni ki singi bad don ka pakhang sinong ka ni ka kanhun ka lei ban pen biang bam ya ki kham tam ya ki tu kibrio ki ba bla man singi bad thet ba man met ki ba man ta kim la ban trai bla na ka dau jong ka ni ka pakhang sinong ka ni ka kanhun ka ker par roi ki pai ba ke badon ka man sim ban ya rap ba ki la ban ai sngo bha da ka no ka no ru la ka dei ka mar bam ni ka pisa sha ka ni ka kanhun Bakin la ban ai jingerap ya kitu ke badon kam. Susu ula ongru ba ka jingerap jong ki pat ba kan long ke jingker ku na ka banta ki duk ki rangli. Hello to everyone, it's me Pastor Manoj Kumar Arjuner. I'm the president of this Compassion Ministry International. So during this pandemic time, during lockdown time, we are giving food to like in a four places. One is in NFT, another is in municipal, and this is another is in Rhino. These three are the homeless center. And beside this, during this pandemic and lockdown, we are providing food here in near Bara Bhaja. So total these days we are feeding like around 200 people. And this ministry is a totally non-government and non political non uh, this uh, religious trust and uh, what i believe the serving human beings are serving god so this message i want to give everyone especially the people of shillong and the meghalaya let us come together in the time of need to because being a human being you have to look after human being and uh, these days people are not having food because they lost their job and many people they cannot go outside even for uh, working because the total is a lockdown and uh, so these are the things they want to share Uh, with all of you because i have a home i have a family i have a uh, how to say like uh, many people do so love me but there are these people and uh, most of them they are daily wages and these days they are not getting food so whatever we can do from our side if me and my team we can do this much how much more if we come together to in that in the in the like a time of this time the people are very much in need your small help can uh, bring lots of help in their life and it's not only homeless people who are looking after drug addict people and uh, to restore their life because that's why our main motive uh, motto is a bro, restoring broken lives many young people they've lost their dream and hope so through counseling all we give them free counseling free fooding and uh, we give free counseling and prayer to prayer lots of people they have changed so i want to uh, pass this message to especially the people of shilanda megalaya let us come together to make our society better and uh, restore the broken life so these are the things and to say and we don't have any government support neither we have any for fund from foreign this uh, total that uh, that we are feeding this money comes from total this uh, from public donation so it's not we are not asking monetary you can help us by rice and dal whatever it may be if the really touch your heart so these are the thing and to share uh, with uh, all of you and me and with my team if we can do this much how much more we can can come together so these are the things i give message to everyone people so we have a uh, we have a bank account our ministry account so we can uh, give to in the screen and uh, or they can contact us so our staff will come and pick if they want to give rice or dal whatever it may be or maybe neutral huh? so as i said we are not asking only monetary help anything if they want to give cheerfully rice will you they accept it and will cook and will serve to the people so these are the things and we have a bank account our ministry to register with indian government so we have a uh, how to say bank uh, account is there our ministry account it happened since last year 2020 month of march when the lockdown began so being a pastor and to say how we started actually god spoke to me when, when i was praying and fasting so we started this ministry 10 kg of rice so almost is growing now by the grace of god and not only in shillong even uh, in the days uh, normal days we go to guwahati also feed the homeless people and uh, this ministry and to expand in every state of this our india especially in delhi and guwahati because many homeless people are there so this is my uh, so i feel this is my calling and god has called me for do this. and really i feel so much joy to serve the people will you continue 
to serve the people. <laughs> yes, yes, why not? I'll continue to serve people as long as the Lord keep me in this world. Till my last breath, I'll serve the people, not only Ceylon, even all over to India, all over India. So this is our main vision and our main motto is restoring broken lives. And as I said, we work among the drug addict people. So this is our main concern to restoring their broken lives. And maybe God's willing, we'll open a rehab center and we'll give it free of cost. We'll not take any church. <coughs> Thank you so much and may God bless each one of those who are watching. Thank you.